it's been a long winter. So I've had a lot of time to think about my bike and what I want to do to it. Stock headlights can kind of suck. My T100's definitely in that category. Let's do something about that. Instead of changing my bulb and upgrading my reflector, I decided to get an entire headlight assembly. I ordered a new headlight from a company you tend to hear about on ADV forums. Cyclops Adventure. Their wares are typically sported by uh, Ewan and Charlie Larpers, but it seems like they're trying to be more present in the cruiser market. I ordered the Cyclops Phoenix on a Wednesday and received the package on a Saturday. The headlight priced at $3.99 required insurance in addition to shipping. The grand total ended up being around 430 bucks. That's pretty pricey in comparison to its competition JW speaker, which by the way is made stateside. However, the Cyclops Phoenix is actually made in South Korea. Not a huge deal, but a little disappointing. I chose the Phoenix because it has a halo running light and an all on feature. The JW speaker does not. I noticed while opening the box that if you flip the light upside down, it looks like stressed, angry, and sad emojis. Thought that was kind of funny. I'm sure you guys want to know the stats, so here's some info from the box. After opening the box, I was pleased to see the bezel and enclosure were a darker shade than the headlight in the stock photo. Also, the back of the headlight was coated in some sort of finish, which was not shown in the photo either. A wiring adapter was included. And luckily, the white halo running light was already tapped into the low beam wire, saving me some time. First, I need to remove my fairing. Then you gotta unscrew the headlight remove the headlight from the bucket make sure to put something underneath your headlight to protect your fender and unplug it after you get the headlight out of the box you might want to plug it in just to make sure it works mine did and it looks bright even in the daylight next you need to remove the mounting harness i did run into a problem during installation there were raised prongs that prevented the mount from sitting flush with the headlight so i marked their location ground down the mount and it didn't come out too bad. Luckily for me, it worked. Now you just need to reverse the process to install your light. Now that the headlight's installed, let's go for a ride. As you can see earlier, my bike's pretty dirty, but check out that headlight. That halo feature is really unique. You don't see many like that on the road. So my final thoughts on the install. Yes, you can buy a cheaper headlight. Yes, you can buy a cheaper headlight made in America. And no, this wasn't a super easy install, but it did fit, it did work, and it does look great. I don't regret the purchase, I just wish it was cheaper. But with that said, this light will last a long time and Cyclops is known to stand by their products. So, you know, time will tell. Just so you can see for yourself, here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the two headlights. The stock headlight is on the left, and the Cyclops Phoenix headlight is on the right. Thanks for watching.